Hey guys, up here, looks here from Crash V, and welcome back to a new video today. Uh, today I am doing something a little different, and I am actually playing a web browser game. Now this is my favourite web browser game to date. I absolutely love this game because, to be honest, this is something I'd expect to like find on Steam Early Access or Steam kind of Greenlight, I think it's called, like where the like uh, indie games kind of go. Uh, this game is amazing, especially because it's free, and especially because it gets updated daily. So, this game is called Mutilator Doll Number 2. Uh, basically, this is a ragdoll simulation game, and you get to... torture, mess around, experiment, save... whatever you want to do, sandbox kind of game, uh, to your little doll, which is... I mean, it goes very interesting at times, so to give you an example of the stuff you can do, let's throw him into a wall, shall we? So let's pick him up, and we. So those are the kind of like physics, you know, it's kind of like this kind of ragdoll kind of thing. I really like it. Uh, so let's try throwing him a bit harder into the wall. Oh, damn. So we can see the health bar at the top here uh, to alter any settings. So, ooh. Looks like his leg's stuck. Okay, we'll deal with that at a later time. Uh, to change any settings, we can go through it here. Slow speed, I always set it to 1. Particles, 300%. Bar scale, as you can see the health there. So let's set it to about 130. And then here you can go into the blood physics, uh, dolls, everything. Edit. Pretty much all the little settings, it's really great, the uh, settings editing they give you. So let's just reset the level by clicking here, and let, let's have a bit of fun today. Uh, today I'm not going to be going through the item library, I'm just going to be exploring the power tools, uh, some of these tools here, and the joints. So just give you an example of what they are. So, as you can see, the drag tool is pretty much just... drag him at high speeds until he bleeds out of his eye sockets. I mean, oh god, until he deforms. It's a great tool, nothing more to be said there. Uh, just to give you a greater idea of the physics here, can you stand up please? Uh, I'm going to go to my favourite tool, which is the cut tool. Now, you can probably guess what this tool does right here. Uh, so let's just test that on his arm. Oof. Damn, son! As you can see, it really does... Cut, it, it does its job nicely, so we can slice him in any way we want. As you can see, the uh, the physics is definitely great on this game, especially because this is a uh, web browser game, which is... It's still insane just to believe that this is all for free as well. So let's reset the level and let us explore some of the powers here. So we'll just go through it one by one. As you can see, there's quite a few powers, so this might take a while. Petrify. Petrifies joints and turns items brittle with water to unpetrify. So, it pretty much just turns into stone, I guess? So, oh god, definitely does turn into stone. His legs just come off. We're just slowly pulling apart his limbs as he's set in stone here. I mean, this is what I do on a Friday night. I'm not sure about you guys, but... Heck, if you're not pulling ragdolls apart, limb by limb, on a Friday night, you have not lived yet. So, let's reset. Uh, next one, we've got web. Tangles items in a sticky web. Oh, wow. It wasn't kidding, was it? So, yeah, it's a web. There's nothing more to be said there, really. Mm. Oh, yeah, this is great. I like this web. Just pretend whoever you want it to be. And just, oh, damn, this game can get pretty brutal. Crush, crushes, well, good explanation. Oh, Jesus. That, that's one way to go out, I guess. Uh, teleport. Ah, so it just teleports in randomly like this. Okay, pretty self-explanatory. Icicles. 
Now, these work a little different. I'm holding down my mouse here and it's no effect. What you do is, like, you click and throw your mouse, so kind of like that. So if you do that, you shoot icicles. So... Damn. Okay, he, he's severed now. There's nothing more we can do. Plus, he's now got a frozen effect, which is... Oh, damn, son. Which is uh, another part of this game. You've got tons of, like, effects and everything, but... We'll go into more detail at a later date. Hail, okay. You can also throw particles like this. So this pretty much applies to all these powers here. Let's test this out. Fair enough. Again, he's just turned into a fucking kebab, but that's, that's fair enough. Disc. Uh, these are little explosive things, so... Ooh. You can just imagine what this is going to do to him. Now, explosions in this game are incredible. If I give you a little demonstration. Oh, well. Let's try that again. Pretty brutal, but not brutal enough. Ooh, damn. Okay, that, that that's pretty brutal. Reset. Uh, black hole. This is kind of fun to play around with because you get sucked in the black hole so you can kind of mess, ooh, mess around with him like that. And of course just devour him in the end, which is always what you're meant to do. Uh, smoke hides this guy. Oh, whoa. Uh, smoke bomb, that's what it was. Uh, acid. Melt him in acid. There's nothing really to explain here. All these are pretty self-explanatory. Critical, except this one. This is not self-explanatory. Uh, this will pretty much has a chance of instantly killing him, so... Okay, nothing. And boom. Chance of killing him, and he's just been completely turned into a fucking smoothie, which is always the best thing. Transmute. Uh, this will give you a little hint of the item library here. So, turns him into random objects. So, as, as you can see here, there's, there's definitely quite a few objects in this game. Uh, these are the categories of objects, and they have... Some of them have 50 in each, so... It's definitely a lot of stuff for a free game. Uh, we'll go into that at a later date, though. Arc, damaging plasma. Uh, nothing more to be said here. Let's just throw it at him. See what happens. Uh, fuck it, let's just surround him in. Okay. It's gone. Uh, moving on. Bees! Okay, who doesn't like to be uh, covered and stung in bees? As you can see, he's developing some sort of reaction there. He's getting all spotty. Uh, you're gonna need a lot of bees to kill this guy, but... Heh, you know. Still still pretty good power. Blunt. Now this, this one's nice. I like this one. Uh, it's a boxing glove, so you can pretty much just... Yeah. Uh, you can also throw them at them, so... Yeah, beat the uh, shit out of a ragdoll as much as you want. Bubbles, this cleans stuff off of him like bloodstains. So if I give you an example here. Uh, he's bleeding. But, where are they gone? There you go. Clears the uh, blood stain that was there. He's still bleeding because bubbles don't fix wounds, but fuck, that'd be awesome if they did. Got shot, take a bubble bath. Where are we going here? Bullet. Uh, bullets. I mean, shit, you're on the internet. You know what a bullet is by now. Yeah, shoot bullets at him. Or shoot, I mean, like, throw bullets at high speeds at him. Who needs guns when you have powers? Death. Kills alive items. Fair enough. Uh, dispel. This removes uh, effects like the frozen effect. So if I go back over here, I go icicles. And you can see parts of him are like frozen there. If we go on to dispel, where are you gone? Where'd it go? Dispel. Uh, gets rid of the effect, so as you can see, he's standing back up because he's no longer frozen. And then we can go into the bubbles and remove what was there before, so... 
They work nicely together. Uh, drain. I mean, yeah, drains blood from him. I mean, there's nothing more to be said there. This, this, this pretty brutal. Blast throws explosives. Now this one, pretty fun. Oh yeah, we're definitely gonna have some fun with this. Ooh, that's gotta hurt. Nah, not enough. Yeah, I think he's dead. Not gonna lie. Moving on, we have... Flame. Uh, which is good segue into our next one, which is Frost. Freezes him. Yeah, pretty self-explanatory. Uh, gasoline. Is it called gasoline? Yeah, it's actually called gasoline. Nice. Uh, cover him in petrol, I guess. And then you can use your powers of flame to set him alight, and of course he burns even more violently, because who doesn't want that? Glue? Uh, shit. He's, he's sticky as fuck. There's nothing more to be said there. Yeah, yeah, sticking to the floor. Nice. Where are we now? Gravity. Triples item gravity. As you can see, just he has more gravity applied to him. Uh, next one, heal. Uh, we're going to have to get out our cutting tool for this. Oh, whoops, he's accidentally lost his arm. Heal it, though, with this. I said heal it, though, with this. Thank you. There you go. Yeah, it heals stuff. Lasers. Who doesn't like lasers? Oh, shitting hell. Ever wanted to know what someone getting cut up by lasers looks like? Well, now you know. Brutal. Okay, disabled item gravity. Uh, so this guy's got zero gravity right now. Go, be free! Be free, no, up you twat, there you go. And then, of course, we just stop the effect, and... Yeah. Oh, Jesus. Paint! Pretty! Poison. Uh, slowly damages him over time, so... I, I said... There you go. As you can see, his health's going down, he's losing control of his limbs, he's dead. Yeah. Nice. Uh, powder disintegrates. And that's enough of that. Random. Random projectiles. So, throw it and bullets. Uh, musket balls. Uh, some sort of sparks, I guess. Whatever that was. Whatever that was. Bullets. Lasers. Uh, explosives. Uh, so... Of course, throw down in our oh, paint. Of course, he gets the, you know, generous one. Um, threw blood at him. Oh, that's more like it. Oh, of course, he gets the heal. How much heal does this guy want? Poison bees. All that, oh. <laughs> Damn. That's nasty. Uh, Ricochet, these are pretty fun. Self-explanatory. Uh, the little pellets, balls, kind of thing. That just pretty much ricochet off everything. And the next one is Sharp, which is pretty much Ninja Stars. Because who doesn't like a good Ninja Star? Oh, well. Ooh. Pretty. Uh, shock. Shock him. Where are we? K 
concuss, basically knock him the hell out. Yeah, good night. Uh, Ren slices and dices. Pretty much self explanatory, so if you just slice and dice him real quick, you get a good example of what it does. We're almost at the end here now. This has been a really long video. Uh, snare. Basically, pin him together like that. Snare him. Nothing more to be said. Uh, this will stop items from moving, so he's pretty much just solid when this effect is applied to him. Uh, next one, we're approaching the end here. Toxic. Pretty much more brutal poison. The Void. Uh, so, we've just placed this guy into the Void right now. He's doing whatever in there, let him go. Turns into Miles Ha, all that good stuff. Water, or Tears as I like, it, like to call it. And the last one is Wind. Uh, pretty much just very, very, very strong Wind. Yeah. Another th quick thing to mention, guys, before we go, is you can adjust all the settings of all the powers just up here. Uh, but that about does it for this episode, guys. We have been through every single power. Uh, next time, I shall be actually diving into the items list and looking at some stuff like the hand handgun, literally a handgun, Spartan helmet, or uh, crosscut saw, king drone. Just stuff like that, you know, your, your casual, normal stuff. But anyway, guys, thank you so much for joining in to this episode of Mutilator Doll 2. Make sure to like, leave a comment, and subscribe. And as always, I've been Crash... Uh, I've been Crash... I've been OPLXX here from Crash V, and I shall see you in episode 2.